Okay, so let's say you're showing this house to somebody and you want to walk them through the house, show them every room and only cross each door once. Is that possible? Let's set up a graph to represent what's happening. Now when you walk in the house, let's say you're walking in here to this room, here you are, you walked from the outside to the inside. So, so let's say that the outside can be represented as one vertice, and we walk into the house into a room. Okay. In the other case, we'll draw a separate graph. Let's say each exit of the outside is a different part of the yard and is not connected. So let's do that next down here. We don't know what the situation is. And you'll see how the graphs evolve differently. Now, in the case where I walk in and walk through this door, right, down to this room over here, let me move my person, I've crossed through another door. So let's draw that, that doorway. Okay. And then in this room over here, there are one, two, three doorways. So one doorway is going to bring us to a room over here. And now in this room over here, there's a room going, there's a door going back outside. Um, so this is outside, right? So it just brings us back outside. Now in the other case, we walk through the same rooms. Um, everything is similar until we walk back outside. Because in this case, we're considering the exits as separate outsides. So this outside is different from this one. And now when we're in this room, we, we can walk back, right? And then down through another door. So that means that from this room, we went down into another room. And in this room is an exit, which brings us outside. So back outside. In this case, we come down to a room, and then an outside exit would be a separate exit. We don't know where that goes. So in the first case, we're assuming we always we go outside, we go to the same vertice. It's just outside. Here we're saying, well, the outsides are different. Maybe one's a backyard, one's a porch. We don't know. Um, one could be fenced in. One could be, I don't know, a screened-in room. We don't know what's out here. And now we, we can always finish. From this room, there's another doorway that goes to this room over here. So we can draw that. And then there's another vertice going back outside. Excuse me. So in this case, down here, we can draw the door to this room, but now there's another way outside, and that's a disconnected outside. We don't know exactly where it goes. Um, so, so these graphs are now looking quite different, and the question is, can we walk through each door only once? Well, it's going gonna, it's gonna to depend on which graph we're using. In this case down here, all the outside vertices have a degree of 1, which means we have four vertices with an odd degree. That's a big problem. If I try to walk in this door over here, right, I could I have to exit somewhere because each of these exits have only one way to them. Well, if I exit to this one, I can't get back to any of the other doors without crossing a door a second time. Right? If I walk this way, how can I backtrack? I can't. If I walk to this one, I can't backtrack and get to any other exits without repeating a door, and the same in the middle. So no matter how I try and walk around this one, it's not a path or a circuit. There are too many vertices of odd degree. In this one, we should write the degrees in. This one has a degree of four, which means, of course, there are four doorways to the outside, right? One, two, three, four. This has a degree of two, degree of two, three, three, and two. So now there are only two vertices with an odd degree, and that's okay. If we start at a vertice with an odd degree, we can walk around the house without crossing a door a second time. So I'm going to start in this room down here. So if I walk over here and then go outside, right, I'll end up back to this point, and let's say I'll come back in this room down here. And tracing that on the graph, that, that means, well, I went over to a room, and then I went back to the outside vertice that's here, and then back down to this room, which is right here. And now I'm almost done. I'm going to now cross this way, back over, up and down, and back to this room over here. So it's, it's a path. And a path forms when we have two vertices of odd degree. A path just means you start at one vertice and end at another. It would be a circuit if they were all even. And that and that and I think that path I just traveled right there went something like this. I would walk this way back up, out, around, I think I'm doing this right. Actually, to be honest, I can't remember what I did. 
but okay. I, let me just try to retrace that. Yeah, it came down to this room, then I went over this way, back up, so that means I went this way, back up, okay, out and around, and this is the outside. Okay, so I can walk all the way around the house, and then back in here. That's what I think happened, right? I did I start there? I started here. I went this way. Sorry, I'm gonna retrace my steps. Outside. Okay, so that means I went, oh boy. Here, outside. Now I'm outside, and then I went back down here. Okay. And then I went this way. Oh that's what I did. I went this way. I always try to retrace, even though I know I have the solution. I gotta make sure it makes sense. And then I went back up here and out. So that means here and outside. This is outside. And I'm almost done. Come back around in the house into this room over here. That means I travel on this edge. And then I still have to enter, uh, I still have to cross the last doorway. And I end up in this room right here. So that's, that's the pathway. Anyway, hope that helps.